first guest is a treasured member of our Hallmark family who has appeared in so many of our movies, such as Christmas Cookies, A Harvest Wedding, and Pearl in Paradise. Her latest Christmas in Evergreen Letters to Santa premieres this Sunday night at 8, 7 central, right here on Hallmark Channel. Please welcome back our friend Jill Wagner. Hey, Jill, welcome back. Jill. Good to have you. Thank you. Christmassy, right? You, yes, very you are. You're in the Christmas theme. It's very Christmassy here. You're fitting right in. Now, let's talk. <laughs> speaking of Christmas, Christmas in Evergreen, Letters to Santa. And this is a very special Hallmark Channel movie because it's kind of a follow up to last year's very popular Christmas in Evergreen film. Yeah. But you're coming to town as a new character. Tell us about yeah, it. Apparently, if you're single, you need to be finding out where Evergreen is because <laughs> it's a good place for single right, people. There you go. So I was from there, and my family left when we were seven. So I'm coming back to my hometown, and it, I love this story because you know it's all about a town who has kind of forgotten about old traditions, and I think that's really important. Traditions are important yeah. In, yeah. in a family, Agreed. and I think especially at Christmas. So That's true. And you find love. I find you find love. more than tradition. You find I know. Love. Well, of course, it's Hallmark. You well, find love. there is a very handsome local contractor named Kevin, mm -hmm. and we have a clip <laughs> of the movie where your character Lisa is trying to convince Kevin to restore the general store to its original condition. Right, right. she needs his help. She yes. Needs his help. Yeah. Let's take a look. Kevin. Hi. Hi. Let's just say that I was getting ready to start a project and I needed someone handy with tools. <laughs> you gonna buy Daisy's store? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna fix it up for Christmas and get it ready for a buyer. No, 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 no. Just throwing up a few decorations won't help. The place needs a lot of work. I know, which is why I need someone to help me do that. And you think I'm your man? Well, I have no idea if you're my man, but I'm willing to bet that you care about this place just as much as any of these other people. I do. Why do you care? Uh, because I have some pretty special memories here, too. Look, take a week and help me do this. I'm sorry. I get it. Look, it's just, it's not enough time to get it done right. What are you talking about? Of course we have enough time. I mean, I have tons of experience, and I'm sure that you have some experience too, right? I would think that is, it looks so Christmassy in that town. I mean, well, go figure, is. go it figure, is. right? That's what Hallmark does best, well, right? Well, we do. We own yeah. Christmas. We own Christmas. We do. It looked right. Well, copyright on that. Besides Mark Declan, your adorable co-star, Kevin, you know, he plays Kevin in the movie. There was another co-star in that scene that we yep. got a glimpse of that you were pretty enamored with as well. <sighs> that 54 Mercury, that old Mercury truck, which truck. you talk about that truck, beautiful, that. beautiful. You know, I used to be the spokesperson know, for that car. I know. Why wow. And I know you love those cars. <laughs> Here you are in a scene with that beautiful car. Now, you obviously the, that truck, that truck's got to stay in Evergreen, all right, because it's sort of like it's it's another character. A character in the film. Yeah. But we got you the next best thing. Uh, we got you a miniature version. <laughs> um, it's been turned into a Hallmark keepsake <laughs> ornament. Here you go. Adorable. It looks fantastic. There it is on the tree, too. We put it on the tree. We got to the ornament. Yay! Uh, you're and welcome. Just to remind our audience, the Christmas and Evergreen yes. movies are actually based on the Christmas and Evergreen fine art collectibles, which this happens to be one of them. Right. And they're available exclusively in Hallmark Gold Crown stores nationwide or on Hallmark.com. That's right. And a little bit later, Ken is going to be taking us behind the scenes to reveal the amazing story of how these ornaments are made. He went there. He met the people. It's amazing. He's very cool. This is going to my tree. There Thank you, you go. You're yeah. very welcome. Thank you're you. very welcome. Now, similar to your character in, in the film, you uh, we heard a little bit about the fact that you're restoring the general store mm -hmm. in Evergreen, right? Well, right. In real life, I know that you're restoring yeah. your Civil War era mansion yeah. in Tennessee. And I know in the movie, I think Lisa uh, discovered a few things. Um, I can't she remember. She found a key. She found a key. Yeah. And, and, but in real life, what did you find? What have you found so as you start to get that out? Yeah, I mean, as you're starting to re restore this beautiful mansion. You're ripping apart that house to try to find I mean, some I mean, stash I mean, of cash. <laughs> for years you've been at it. <laughs> no, for years. I've you have been ripping at it. the house apart. That's why I'm still not in it. I'm just ripping it apart. Um, see, we took there out all go. those columns and looked for stuff in them. There's nothing <laughs> in them except for wood. Uh, no, we found some interesting things. There was. Um, there was all of these bottles in the basement 
Uh, I don't know what's in the bottles. Oh. I did not try any substance that you was in the bottle. You didn't open one of them? Was it no. moonshine? I don't know. Well, well shouldn't we try? I mean, Somebody we do try. a segment. Listen, <laughs> listen I think it's Somebody cool that you try. Do We'll do a segment it's where a big I'll mystery. open a bottle and, and we'll I'll tell you what's in it. <laughs> we'll and if send not kids get sick, it's great. Yeah, we'll send Ken <laughs> to do it. We'll send Ken, don't you worry. So there was that. There was a Bible from uh, the 1800s, oh, man, which is pretty cool. Very cool. Um, we did find an old safe in the wall, uh, and my husband got it open, and guess what? <gasps> Nothing. There's what? nothing in it. Nothing. Not even a note that said "ha ha." Like nothing. <laughs> in it. That would have been actually kind of cool, right? I mean, well, they probably had to take the stuff and run. I know. They, they, they were able to open the safe and get everything out. I know. Yeah, but so so far, um, now I haven't went in the attic yet. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. Well, I'll come with. Kind of scared. Okay, we'll go. Like we'll go much. together. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> nothing can hurt us together. Yeah. <laughs> We also um, heard Christmas came early for David this year yeah. on the farm because you uh, you purchased him <laughs> a little, it looks like a bear really. It's not really little, yeah. um, but it does look like a bear. It's it's a Highland cow and it, what, oh, wow. Wow. Like, it Tell is, me about Highland Cow. I mean, I don't know a lot about Highland Cow. It's a furry buddy. I want to give him a hug. I kind of feel like and it's you huggable. Can. You can't give him a hug. You yeah. can come over to the farm and give him a hug. Um, yeah, I don't and know I know anything about this so, sort of cow. So they're from Scotland. Okay. And I fell in love when I went to Scotland. I saw one and I fell in love with it. But however, I found yeah, he's leash trained. You can walk him <sighs> down That's the amazing. road, which I it will looks be like doing. he's pulling him a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I mean, it looks like, you know what I mean? And you know, the other thing that they love, they love to be brushed. Aww. He has all this beautiful hair, and it's That's like highlighted. So, is it it's, soft? It's, it's beautiful, yes. Oh, Does it feel like fur? fur? What an interesting so We'll do yeah. that in another segment. <laughs> you know, so, so, yeah, so What does David think of the cow? Um... He loves it. He still thinks it's a bit, it's like a present that I brought myself. Well, I don't say fine. that. I tend to do that sometimes. It's okay. It's I was like, you okay, know. I'm going to get you this great Christmas present. I'm going to get you this Highland cow that I've always wanted. And is the cow a baby? <laughs> um, oh yeah, goodness. he's about eight weeks, uh, eight months, sorry. Yeah, you can tell he's little. He's yeah. adorable. Yeah. So um, He could be like the Hallmark mascot. mascot. <laughs> well, the cow mascot. We have Happy. Know. I'm not sure we I feel like the dog. But okay, but we can have two. We can, well, what is his name? Teddy. Teddy. I just Teddy named him. I'm like, Teddy. I don't Teddy even know. the cow. That's yeah, fine. Teddy. Teddy well, the cow. in in the uh, spirit of Christmas, <laughs> Christmas gifts, Christmas movies, we also uh, you are going to be counting down your Christmas favorite, your holiday favorites, on Hallmark Channel Radio. That's yes, Channel this 70 cool. on Sirius yeah. XM through the holidays, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, and we're very excited about that. In fact, we got a little bit of a. Uh, a little sample of uh, one of your favorites right now. Let's have a listen. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Elvis Presley. How can you not love People that? People are going to be tuning in now. That is for sure. Without right. you. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Go I'm ahead. Sing it, Jill. No, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it. Lip sync. Thank you so much, Thank Jill. Thank you, guys. Congratulations on everything. Yeah, thank you.